What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hey, my name is Natalie. This is my channel, Music to Makeup. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Yeah. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. So today's video is going to be a collaboration with one of my good friends who just recently started her channel and I just want to say, Michelle, I'm so proud of you. I know how hard it is to start a channel. I know how like much mental preparation it takes and I'm just so proud of you. And now we can do videos together, yay! So we wanted to do a collaboration on a Halloween look and she was talking about wanting to do a scary one and scary is so not my vibe I'm more like pretty sexy so I'm like I'll do pretty sexy you do scary we cover both spectrums we're good so this is my sexy rainbow bright 2018 edition and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this collab and please check out her channel. She is awesome. Give her some support because it is so hard starting a YouTube channel. So I just want her to have some support. And I am always here for YouTube, girl. All right. So today's look I <laughs> brings back a lot of memories for me and it was just really fun to do. So I was obsessed with Rainbow Bright growing up and this costume was like the costume I primarily wore in my 20s for Halloween. <laughs> this was just one of my favorite costumes and I wanted to give it kind of like a modern twist to it. Like that's why I decided to do the jewels instead of just the regular like purple heart on the side. I wanted to give it a more glamorous and more modern feel and this is what I came up with. Alright guys, well if you would like to see how to become a glamorous rainbow bright sex goddess for Halloween then keep on watching and if you do like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and I will grant you a free wish and let's get into the tutorial so here are the swatches of the amethyst obsessions palette by Huda Beauty I am very impressed with this palette. So I'm going to prime my eyes first with this Makeup Revolution Concealer. Conceal and Perfect in C1. And I'm just going to blend that out and use this as my primer for my eyeshadow. Now I'm just setting it with a base. Literally, the color is called Base from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nordina palette. And I'm just putting that all over my lid. Now I'm taking an E27 and going in with this ColourPop eyeshadow in Two to Mango. And it's just a very beautiful, like, light lavender shade that we're going to put in our crease, but concentrating on the outer corner mostly. Oh, I just love the, that color so much. So now I'm just going to be doing and repeating the same thing on the other side. And this is a really nice transition color too. It will help everything blend out nicely. So now I'm going in with that pinkish shade from the Huda Beauty palette and in Morphe M441. And I'm keeping this mostly concentrated on the outer corner. I'm kind of like dabbing it on the end of the eye and then bring it into the crease a little bit, but not all the way. 
So I just build that intensity up a little bit. And then I go back in with the E27 in that transition shade and I just blend everything all together. Now I'm taking an E25 and I'm gonna be going in with that purplish shade there and putting that on the outer corner of the eye. I'm just going to be patting it and then I slowly drag it into the crease. Not all the way, just keeping it in the outer corner. We just want to darken up that outer corner and going on the same side. I'm very impressed with these purples. The main reason I didn't get this palette at first was because I know purples are hard to make and I wasn't sure if it was going to be pigmented, but she did a really good job with this palette. So props. Now I'm taking this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and I'm just going to be putting that on my lid where I am going to be putting my shadows. Just using it as a glitter glue, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going in with this bright like magenta pink purple that caught my eye with a flat synthetic brush and I'm going to be going in about two thirds of the way with this color. I like the way the, this look turned out but I kind of wish I would have just put this color all over the lid. But I'm just obsessed with that color. So now I'm taking another brush and I'm going in with that one color but disregard this color because I end up not liking how the two colors look next to each other. I was going for more of like a periwinkle bluish purple and that's not what I was getting. So I realized that and go in with the exact color I was wanting. I don't know why I didn't go in with it in the first place, but you know, we make mistakes, especially me. So I'm just putting that on the outer portion of the eye. And now I'm doing the same thing on the other side, going in with that like magenta purple and putting that on my lid. Oh, I used to be obsessed with Blue Cl Blue's Clues and his girlfriend's name was Magenta. <laughs> Fun fact that I don't know why I know. So now I'm just going to be going in with that like periwinkle blue purple and putting that on the outer corner. And then I am going to be taking a Sigma definer brush and going in with that pinkish shade and just blending the edges out. So now I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and going in with that beautiful dark purple. It reminds me of MAC Deep, Deep Dancing but I'm just going to be putting that in the outer corner and just darkening up the outer corner. <laughs> I was trying to think of another way to say it, but there is. I just had a, I just said outer corner about 20 times, but <laughs> we just <laughs> want to make that the darkest part <laughs> of the eye. And doing that on both sides kind of rubbing it into my lash line as well and then blending it out with that sigma crease brush and now i'm going to be spraying that flat definer brush and going back in with that magenta purple and i go it out a little bit further than i originally did but I just love that color so, 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 so much. And now I take that like 
pinkish purple shade and just blend the edges all together. So now I'm taking this NYX eyeliner, faux white eyeliner in lavender shade. I'll have everything listed, but I'm putting this in my waterline and it cuts out, but I do put shadows under there. Now I'm gonna be putting just some black liquid liner, the Fenty Fly Liner. I'm not doing a wing, you'll see why later, but I'm just putting a band of eyeliner on and then I'm gonna be going in with the Sephora uh, mascara and just putting a few coats of lash of mascara on my lashes. Okay, so I have done my <clears throat> foundation, concealer, and brows. So now we are going to highlight the brow bone. And I'm going to be taking this sleek, oh my god, that's so dirty. This sleek makeup solstice highlighting palette and we're gonna be taking this purple shade right here. Now I am going to be highlighting the inner corner and I'm going to be using this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. It's from a glow kit but I had to take it out and put it into a Z palette. It is called Sassy Grape. a little bit of that purple from the solstice. Okay, so now we are going to put on some bronzer. I'm going to be using my Ciate London bronzer in Palm Island. put the sassy grape down first yeah I'm gonna put the mousse down first now I'm going to put shade from the solstice palette down on top of it taking my Love Flush Too Faced blush palette and I am going to be using the color Justify My Love, this light lilac purple. So now I'm going to spray some setting spray. I'm going to use my Milani Make It Last. Okay, 
Okay, so I am going to go put some lashes on and then we will come back and do a lift. I'm going to be using these Tarte lashes in Heartbreaker. Okay, so I do have the outfit on. I got my star wand. And I was gonna do the traditional like star on the face, but I lost my star stencil and I'm horrible at drawing stars. Plus, I'm like, you know what? I think we're gonna do a more modern version of Rainbow Bright. So I got these on Amazon. I'll link them below. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It has like purple and pink and clear. So we're gonna go with this one. so pretty and now these are like little teardrops I don't know how I feel about that I am going to take my Ciate London it's like an eyeliner and a stamp in one so it comes with a star stamp so I'm going to put that right here on each side. Take these off. Yeah. And we are going to do the lips. So I'm going to line my lips with the Jeffree Star uh, lip liner in doll parts. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with doll parts by Jeffree Star. Okay, so this is the completed look. My 2018 version of Rainbow Bright. One of my favorite costumes. And I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of other awesome videos. And... I had so much fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.